God moves mountains when we believe. And if we sing, we believe what we sing. And we sing what we believe. Amen? Amen. And we, when we do that, God can answer our prayers. Take your seat, open your Bible, Mark 11, quickly. I'm excited because God cannot lie. There's something I can trust in. There, I can trust in nothing else but God's word and his promises. Amen? Amen. You know, in the olden days, the people said, I a man from my word. My word is my ear. And later on, I found out that there's actually very few of them, if any. Amen. And I came to realize as a Christian, there's one whose word I can really rely on. And that is God's word. He's the honorable one. He's the worthy one. And he's the one that can be trusted. The Bible says that all men are liars. Only God be true. All men think they know the truth. Many men think they know the truth. But the Bible says, let every man be called a liar. And God's word cannot lie. Amen. Amen. So if you remain in God's word, you remain in the truth, you're a person of truth. Amen. If you do not remain in his word, you immediately become a liar. The thing that you hate the most in another person, that is the thing that is in your own life. That is the demon in your own life. If you're always accusing someone else of something, go and look, that same thing is in your life. This is the demon in your life. I mean, that's why Jesus said, don't judge. Don't point fingers. Because if you point fingers, three, three point back to you. With the same measure you judge, you'll be judged. Why do you want to look at the speck in another person's eye, but there's a plank in your own eye? Normally such people hurt many others while they try to look at the speck and try to show them the speck in their own eyes and they, they hurt them with the plank in their own eyes. Say to the guy next to you, do not judge. Do not judge. Because with the same measure you judge, you'll be judged. To judge people is not is, to not love people. But to be merciful is God's love. I mean, to appreciate another person in spite of all his mistakes, that is God's love. In the name of Jesus. You see, if I want to look at the speck in your own eye, brother, but I've got a plank in my own eye. Let me see where is that speck. What will I do with his poor eye? I will destroy his eye, man. Huh? Take out the plank out of your own eye, you hypocrite. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say to God next to you, if you want to look for a speck in another person's eye, you need to make very sure that there's not a plank in your own eye. Because you will take out another guy's eye. Amen. Hallelujah.